Today we are yeah. going to be making fried ice cream bars. Yep. Uh, we're getting in a Cinco de Mayo mood, but these are good pretty much any time during the summer or um, or whatever. It's a quick and easy treat. So we're going to go ahead and start melting some butter. Normally we make this in a 9 by 13 pan um, and share it with extended family at family dinner since we're um, kind of stuck to just the three of us right now. We're going to make a half batch. Uh, if you go over to the blog and check out the recipe, um, it is for the 9 by 13, but it's pretty easy to just scale it down if you want to do it in a, in a square pan instead. All right, so we'll melt the butter and we'll put a half a cup of sugar in. Should I put the half a cup of sugar in now? Yep, go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> Put it in with you. Okay. You have to out mix it. You're gonna mix it. Just let me. Whoa! Out. Just a whole yeah. Time. yeah, hot. I can't. I can't. I can't use both arms. <laughs> I'm like, what? Where? 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 All right. Just let me melt the butter. Yeah. So while the um, the butter and the sugar are going to melt together. We're going to get it a little bit bubbly, and then we'll add some cornflakes. Um, now? No, not yet. Oh. So this is the end of a bag of cornflakes for us, so I just went ahead and crushed them in here. You can just use your hands and crush them a little bit. You don't need to get them into teeny tiny crumbs, but um, just a little bit smaller than normal. Watch what you're doing. That's hot. Starting to bubble. Oh, yep. Okay, now that it's starting to bubble, we're going to go ahead and add our cornflakes around. I want to. I want to. I want to. It's just like, like not even a second. Again. Wow, that's. That's a lot more than I thought there was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just do all this together. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like all mm -hmm. cornflakes. You want to get all the cornflake crumbs nice and coated and give them a chance to toast up a little bit and caramelize. And then we'll be ready well, to move on to the next this step. This is so super hard. But yeah, wow, this, this pan's super full. <laughs> now that these are toasted up, we'll put about half of it in the bottom of our pan. I think I help split it. It's going to be hot, so you'll have to be very careful. I'm careful. I'll just, I'll just scoop it up into my mouth. Here, I'll very carefully split this because I already know how what very careful means. And this is super thick. Do, do I need to pack it down like a little bit? Yep. Put it all the way to the edges. And... All right. And then the next 
next step is going to be to make the ice cream center. Okay. Okay, now we got um, the bottom on the, um, the bottom layer on this. Mm -hmm. um, now we need one teaspoon. Half, well, we're doing a half recipe, so we're going to use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon into like roughly like four cups of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ordinarily when we're making a bigger batch, you just use a half gallon of ice cream, but... And then, what's this? That's a Cool Whip, so normally... Four ounces of Cool Whip? Yep. A lot of Cool Whip on the inhale. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it fluffy. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's just this fluffy stuff. Mm -hmm. Super fluffy stuff. Okay. You can get the rest out. I basically never get enough out. You always have to like get it. I don't know how you do it, but you always get it like <laughs> every little tiny piece. Alright, that'll be good for now. Now. But then I lick it. So I get more. <laughs> Can I help? Yeah. I was just trying to do the thing. Go turn it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. You can just fold it in by hand, but the mixer makes it just a little bit easier. Um, We've had this ice cream sitting out the whole time. We made the cornflakes. That way it's nice and soft and easier to mix. Yep. So, then you just... That looks pretty good, I'd say. Then you put all this in the pan. Mm -hmm. That already has one layer. This is the second layer. Then there's another layer of the stuff on the bottom. Another layer of crunchiness. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we put switch spatulas. Yep. Put the rest put of this the on. Rooms on top. Trying to get all it. I might have just lost a couple pieces. That's right. When we were actually like getting this all heated up and stuff, I lost like a decent amount. But I kind of ate it because it's super good. <laughs> yeah, it keeps trying to eat the cornflakes before we can get them on the ice. Just cream. this. This top, the top and bottom layer. Mm -hmm. All. My gosh, it's so good. Yeah, we'll switch. Can you switch? It's warm. All right, we're gonna stick this in the freezer and let it set up for a couple hours and then it'll be ready to eat. Um, All right, it's right. time to dig yeah. in. Yep, we got it all done. As you can see. It's Mine's fancy. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try and see what we think. Yeah, let's just dig down in this little chocolate flavor syrup in there. It is pretty good. There's a little bit of cinnamon and the ice cream and the cornflakes are nice and crunchy and... Pretty good. So if you're looking for something to make for Cinco de Mayo for your dessert, or any summer treat really, I mean you can make it any time of the year, but it'd be great um, all summer long, we suggest you make our fried ice cream bars. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Good. Hit that like and subscribe button too. All right. Bye, guys.